this tut requested tutorial for how to create authentic EastEnders closing credits in Adobe Premiere Pro as requested by a user on YouTube. So as you can see I have Adobe Premiere Pro open and what I have here is just a basic I've shortened down the theme tune and graphics of EastEnders just to because I'm just going to put in a few names in order to show you how to do this because if I did the full cast list and full crew list I'll be here all day because it's quite a lengthy process but I'm just going to put in a few names and, ca and cast and crew members and then you can just see the basics parts put together and then if you want to create a full title sequence with all the names in it a comprehensive version and you then you f can feel free to do so so basically just I've shortened down the theme just so it sounds like this. So it's just the end of it like that. So the first thing we have to do is create the um, well first of all once you've got the clean um, you get the clean tiles off of YouTube and the theme or whatever it comes as one. What you have to make sure is because the theme uh, no the graphics on YouTube are 480p standard definition and once you put that into uh, Premiere Pro it will then adjust the um, resolution of the project to what's been put in, in here so it'll be a standard definition project so if you want to change that to HD you have to go to sequence sequence settings and then go up here and change it to either uh, inch 100 720p or inch 100 1080p to ensure it gives you the 1080 by 1920 resolution and 25 click 25 frames per, se per second so it's got the PAL the PAL sort of resolution and um, frame rates there so once you've done that click OK what, what's likely to happen is this will shrink down to a letterbox size so what you'll have to do is click on it and the scale here like this you pull it up usually 200 isn't enough so I make about 230 and then you've got the full screen and it fits it better <laughs> So once you've done that, then we can go to go to the T type tool here, and we press it on the on the screen and just type something. We'll type EastEnders. I don't know why that's so small. And then you come to the left here and scroll down, and then you can change the size. You can change the size of the um, of the text. So let's make it 100 for now. So it's the right size. So what I'm going to start with is just as you find at the top of these standards titles, uh, the uh, writer credit. So I'm going to put Simon Ash down because it's the most famous writer in these standards almost, I think, in recent years. And what you have to do, and then press the center thing to make sure the text is all in the center like that, and then drag it to the center as much as you can. Uh, just as a um, a note, the official authentic East, um, font they use for the end credits is called Cheltenham Book. Usually, you can find that on free sites to download, as I could. Uh, if I manage to find it again, I'll send. I'll put a link in the description so you can download that, so you've got the right font. We put it there in the middle, and then we just put a cast name. So we'll put. Uh, Phil Mitchell, this first one I can think of, played by Steve McFadden, like that, and then you just put another cast name in, let's say Sharon, so we'll put, okay, Sharon Mitchell, and then put the Tisha Dean in a minute, but what we'll do here is we want this to roll, so we go to it's open already, but you get a window and press Essential Graphics, which will open a little window over here. What we need to do is click off the text editing. So we just click off the side like that and then click back on it. And then on the, on the right hand side here, you'll see an option to press Roll. And then the text will start rolling. Fortunately, it's a bit laggy on my computer since I've upped the resolution, but. 
basically then it starts rolling so we can I'll just put a few more names in here to fill it out so as you can see now I've now put in a full cast list or just a few names and crew members to even it out so what we need to do is just make it as long as I've got to extend it to the length as to where the music, where the executive producer title stops. Which is about there. So that's where the titles are going to start. Also, on another note. What we will have to do here is the um, the first line is usually shrunken down, so we'll make that about 90 or 85 maybe for this. That's it, so it looks more like it does. And we'll just do that for each of these. So shrink it down a bit because the, the first line, the character names are always smaller than the actor name which is what some people don't realize so when they come to create the titles they don't look right because the, the, all the text is the same size yet the first line is always smaller than the second slightly so I'll just go on and change all them now right so now that's sorted so all the text is uh, now all looks authentic looks the right size so what you can do now is you can come over and come down the essential graphics here and add you can add a shadow like that to give it a bit more depth and stuff you can change all this down here i don't really mess with these but they probably do do things right yeah we don't need that what we do want to do is make the title stop in the middle. So we want to make the title stop in the middle. So at the moment it isn't. So what we have to do again is we have to click off, press on that, click off it and press on it again and then this option comes up. And now we've got additional option of start off screen and end off. So what we want to do is untick end off because that means it will stop on the screen then. Okay, so what we want to do is post roll. We'll add about oh, one minute to this for now. So that should help. See, it'll stop now. So now we've got it to the stage where it will stop. So what we have to do now is we have to separate this. We have to put some distance between the uh, um, penultimate um, credit and the last credit so that it gets up to the position there that position of where it stops in the middle of the screen so now when we play it back you get it stops in the middle now although it needs to be a bit longer so we'll cut it down because it's 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 playing at the length like the old titles used to do That's it, right, we're at the right point now. So once you've got that done. Basically, let's put, yeah. So once that's to your, once that's to your satisfaction, the name something like that. And just go to uh, File, Export, Media. And then you just choose your format. I use MP4, H.264. Uh, you change the name there. And then you press export when you're finished. We shouldn't take long on these credits. And then it gives you, just give you a preview of what they look like. So they look pretty authentic looking at them here. So you press export when you want. And then that should take about a minute. And then when you finish, you should come out with something similar to this. To a degree, they're a bit different, but it's basically the same. The name stops in the middle. So 
So I hope you found this uh, tutorial very useful. I hope that you can now create your own credits out of that, as many people have wanted to do after all the mocks on YouTube over the years. So hopefully that's clear enough for you to be able to create your own um, your own mocks. So uh, yes, yeah, so if you like the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you do have any more questions about things, um, just leave me a comment comment in below the video and I'll try and sort it out for you. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and keep stay tuned for more videos in the future.